teen arrested after high school threat, hiking fatality at Peninsula State Park, popular Netflix series returns in October. These stories and more coming up on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and welcome to Community News Review for Wednesday, September 26, 2018. The U.S. House of Representatives will vote Friday on legislation that would make permanent President Donald Trump's tax cuts for individuals, House Tax Committee Chairman Kevin Brady said on Wednesday. Brady told Reuters that the House Republican leaders laid out the voting schedule for what Republicans call Tax Reform 2.0 at the morning caucus meeting. Two related tax bills on retirement savings and tax breaks for startup companies are due for voters on Thursday, Brady said. The U.S. House of Representatives subcommittee will weigh sports betting at a hearing next week following a Supreme Court ruling on the issue earlier this year. The Congressional panel said in a statement released on Wednesday. The September 27th hearing by the House Judiciary, Judiciary Committee's Crime Subcommittee will include representatives from the National Football League, the gaming industry, consumer advocates, and a state gaming control board, the statement said. Today is National Voter Registration Day and voter advocacy groups are working hard to get people signed up for the general election. Election advocates across the country are gearing up for a major day of helping people get to the polls. Eileen Newcomer with the League of Women Voters says you've got groups across Wisconsin ready to help people ensure that they are ready for the November elections. Voters who show up to an event can take care of business and register to vote right there. Reed Magney with the Wisconsin Elections Commission says that it's good to have the reminder to register to vote, but here in Wisconsin, it's not quite as important to have a special day for it. In a lot of other states, you have to be registered weeks or maybe a month or more before an election to be able to vote. And in Wisconsin, of course, you can register to vote on election day. You can sign up to vote at myvote.wi.gov or by heading to your local clerk's office. Make sure to bring proof of residence, like a lease agreement or a utility bill in your name. National Guard soldiers from Wisconsin will be deployed to Afghanistan this winter. The deployment will be a historical one for the 2nd Battalion 127th Infantry. This particular deployment will mark this particular brigade's first ever deployment to Afghanistan. Joe Travato, spokesperson for the Wisconsin National Guard, says they previously served in Iraq on two occasions, and this deployment will have them be part of the NATO-led Resolute Support Mission. There will be approximately 400 soldiers across the 127th unit, which are largely concentrated across the Fox Valley area. The Wisconsin National Guard says the 127th Infantry, 2nd Battalion, includes soldiers from Clintonville, Green Bay, Fond du Lac, Marionette, Ripon, and Waupun. There are between 10,000 and 12,000 troops serving in Afghanistan, and our troops would fall in that mission. The soldiers previously served in Iraq from 2005 through 2006 and 2009 through 2010. State health officials hope new data released Monday will encourage more people to get a flu shot. 
The Department of Health Services reported 379 people died from the flu last year in Wisconsin. That is double the number of the flu-related deaths over the previous influenza season. DHS officials say 7,520 people were hospitalized last year because of flu-related complications, and only 36% of the state's residents got the flu vaccina vaccination last year. A teen in Duran is accused of making online threats through social media against a school. Prosecutors say the 17-year-old Jacob Gunderson to threaten a shooting at Durand, Arkansas High School. Gunderson was charged Tuesday with making terror threats and writing a threatening computer message. Investigators say he posted the threat on Snapchat around 7 a.m. on Monday morning, and he was then arrested about two hours after the message was posted. Gunderson is not a student in the dis district and the motive is still unclear. There was an extra police presence at the school while the case was investigated. A statement from the school district said, we want to thank those students who reported the situation immediately and encourage parents to talk with their children about situations like these. The Door County Sheriff's Department says a 70-year-old hiker fell to his death Sunday in Peninsula State Park. The Elkhart, Indiana man was hiking with his wife in the Eagle Bluff lookout area when he slipped and fell around 2.30 p.m. The area overlooks the water through the victim's body fell about 100 feet into the rocks below. The man was airlifted from the scene but died a short time later. His name has not yet been released, and foul play is not expected. A sequel to a popular Netflix series will be available next month. Making a Murderer Part 2 will look into updates in the 13-year-old Wisconsin murder case and will be available on Netflix on October 19th. The series covers the 2005 murder of Teresa Halbach in Manitowoc County, and the first part of the series looks into the arrest and convictions of C Stephen Avery and his nephew, Brendan Dassey. Part two examines the appeals that both men have pushed since 2015. The new series will feature 10 episodes and will show the men's fight for justice and will feature both men's post-conviction lawyers. And finally, Ryan Braun homered twice, and Jesus Aguilar also went deep as Milwaukee won for the fifth time in six games. Taylor Williams picked up the win, and the Brewers led the Rockies by three and a half games for the top NL wildcard and are just a half game behind the Cubs in the NL Central after Chicago lost to Pittsburgh 6-0. Austin Gomer took the loss and St. Louis is now a half game behind Colorado for the second NL wildcard. The Brewers go for the series sweep over the Cardinals on Wednesday night. And that is all we have for today. We'll see you next time for another recap of our local news. From all of us at Community News Review, have a great day. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.